Welcome to today's video, which may very well be the most exciting thing that has happened to me in a very long time. What you are about to see, which I'm sure you know from the thumbnail and everything, is literally a lifetime goal of mine that is being checked off. I have wanted to own one of these cars for the longest time. I've been super interested in the platform. I've been completely trying to ignore it for the longest time because I didn't want to get, you know, too into the platform and learn about it and know about it because the more I did, the more and more, I guess, I was going to be depressed because it was it didn't seem like the car was obtainable for me until now. And this opportunity is just, it is so perfect. It is everything that I represent and everything I stand for and everything I want to do. And for it to happen with this car is completely mind-blowing. I'm not going to talk anymore. I think it's just best I show you. done oh boy what have I done guys this is my new Mitsubishi Tommy Mackin RS Evo 6.5 it was abandoned unloved needed a lot of work I'm gonna save it I'm gonna bring it back from the dead I'm excited I hope you guys are excited too this is my car that I'm planning to get into time attack with I've been wanting a Tommy Mac RS for the longest time and when this opportunity came I just I had to jump on it. It's rough guys. It is rough. It needs a lot of work. All right? A lot. But it's legit. See the red stripe? We good. And if you have a look there, SN DF. It's rough, but it runs. It's got all the good parts. It's got diffs front and rear, whole bunch of stuff. The chassis, we'll look into that in a little bit. But minimal rust. Everything's repairable. I'm really excited. This is going to be, I've never taken on a build like this in my life. I don't even know where to kind of begin or what we're going to do. But here it is. My TME RS. Evo 6.5. So a lot of you guys saw this car when we did the barnyard video when we were looking through this car yard. Now, when I first saw this, I it broke my heart. I literally could not believe that there was a TME, literally like RS, just sitting in the corner up there collecting leaves and stuff like that. Now John had every intention to fix this, restore it and stuff like that, but he just got really, really busy running his business and getting kickstarted here in Japan, which I completely understand. And it did come to him in some pretty rough shape. The backstory with this car is kind of crazy. And uh, let's just get out of the wind real quick and, and kind of like get in here so you guys can hear me better. But the previous person who owned this was a university kid. And he had no idea what it was and literally rallied this thing. So if you guys remember, Tsuruma Circuit is a brand new drift circuit, but it used to be called Sunrise Circuit and it was used for rallying. The kid literally used to rally this car there, beat like just everything, smash into stuff and everything. The chassis is relatively straight. From what I have inspected on the car, 
this is totally savable. It's gonna be a lot of work, I know. And I know looking at this, it's like, Sam, what the hell have you gotten yourself into? And I know my wife is saying the very same thing when she's watching this. But I know we can fix this. I don't care how big of a job it is. I want to save it. And that is literally what popped in my head when I saw this thing sitting in the corner up in this car park, collecting dust and rotting. I am beyond excited to be starting this project. I just want to make it very, very clear. There is no way in hell I would be able to do what I am doing with this car to save it or anything like that to even buy this thing if it wasn't for you guys. The only reason that I'm in this position right now is because of you guys coming every day and watching my videos. So I want to say a massive thank you to you. Seriously, this was a life, like a life goal of mine. I never thought I was going to get a TME RS. Like, just the, like, I know this is in bad shape and it needs fixing. But just the fact that I have and own a car with this VIN number and chassis is just, it's a lifetime goal. And I don't think this opportunity would have ever come up ever again. And I'm sure you can understand why I jumped on it, even in this condition. I think it is going to be the sickest thing that's ever going to happen to this channel. I mean, sure, we may be able to save another abandoned car some other time in the future, but this is so cool. And I only have you guys to thank for that. So if you are watching for the first time, why is my face so dark? So if this is the first time you're watching a video on my channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications because you do not want to miss any videos that come out about this car. And of course, guys, give me a like, smash that like button. If you love the fact that I am literally saving a legendary car. Now, I'm, I don't, I'm not saying that lightly. This is literally a legendary car. Only 218 of these were made from the start. In existence right now, there could only be like 50. Like you gotta understand like that first initial number, like those were the ones that were raced and used and stuff like that. So it's, it's hard to know how many are left in the world, but next to none, probably. Like, I, I, don't, I don't think you guys, I, I have no words. I, I literally do not understand how I was able to get this car. It's, it's mind blowing. Um, it's probably a good opportunity for me to say, guys, if you want to get any cars exported out of Japan, please talk to John. Um, the whole reason why this is happening is obviously because he sold the car to me. Um, and it wasn't like, you know, it, he did a very, very, very good deal on this for me. Um, in its current condition and everything like that, like, it's it's definitely amazing. And he's going to obviously help me find people that are going to be able to, you know, get parts for me. I think the game plan is going to be to find, like, a, a six shell somewhere, like a six car that's got a blown engine or some transmission issue or something like that. We're going to use a lot of interior parts and stuff like that. I want to keep the roll cage. My plans are that this is going to be a time attack car, but I want to make the interior nicer and that kind of stuff. So, <sighs> huge plans. Massive plans. I... This is so cool. This is like, as a kid, you dream of owning an F40 Ferrari and then you get it. This is literally that car for me. So let's take a look at the engine bay. And first of all, before we look at any components on the car, I want to show you guys this VIN number. It starts with a 020, that's a Tommy Mackin. The other thing is the N S N D F, the rarest of them all. It's insane. Just have a quick look up on the internet, Google that and you will find um, I, let me show you guys on my iPhone here real quick. Like I've, I've literally been checking all this stuff out. It's, it's insane. So Tommy Mackin RS S N D F 216 made in the white, one red, one gray, 218 total ever made ever in existence. Right now there is way less and you know it. All the ones that have crashed, all the ones that were used in rallying and all that kind of stuff. There is probably less, like 50, maybe 80 left. I don't know, but I don't know the official number. I don't know if anyone does. I'm so mind blown. Anyways, that aside, um, looks like we got some goodies. Obviously, I don't know how much of this we're going to keep. I want to try to restore as much of this as we can. We have a lot of work ahead. We're going to be using a lot of CRC and PB Blaster. Um, 
there's a few other plans happening behind the scenes that are going to make this whole project possible. This is not something that I can just jump into right away and get everything done in like a month's time. This is going to be a big project over the next few years. Um, I mean, I'm, I would like to see this done within 12 months, but you know, it obviously depends on a lot of things and stuff like that. But this is going to be a big project. Like I have to strip down everything. The whole shell is going to have to go to a body guy. It's going to get all repaired. Like all this stuff here that looks like it's just all surface. Like all of this can be treated and come up. There are no holes anywhere. Like the rust on this car is so good. And I'm going to do another video where we do a full like look under the car and stuff like that. But this is seriously the coolest thing ever. So taking a quick look now in the interior, we've got a nice old school Grady white face boost gauge. Looks like we have a Pivot RPM uh, Taco. It's interesting because I had uh, the newer version of this in my S15 from that era, so it's very cool. You can see the Pivot control down there for it. They're actually a really cool Taco. I think this is for the gauge. Yeah, the, the dual link unit. Maybe this also does boost control. I'm not sure. There's some really cool old tech in here. It's actually pretty sick. Uh, we got, I guess, a uh, nice little footrest there. Everything's stripped down this car. You gotta realize this was used for rallying. So, there's a lot of stuff just stripped out everywhere in this thing. It's got a cool little handbrake extension thing. I may take this and put this on like a drift car, that's kind of cool. But my goal is to make this car look pretty again, put some interior back in it and stuff like that. And, uh, but make it like ready for Scuba 2000 and grip and time attack. So, we got a lot of work to do. The other most important thing is how many kilometers are on the clock. And I checked before, it's done 140 something thousand the battery's dead but you'll have to believe me 140 something thousand it's got low kilometers for this for pretty much the lifespan of this car it's it's insane first thing i think i'm going to do to it is pressure wash it though and clean it so the car runs i've got it idling right now i topped up all the oils i made sure there was fresh high octane gas in there what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually, we've got templates on it and I'm going to take it to a car wash place and I'm going to get this thing looking much better. I'm going to try and clean up all the crap off it as much as I can with the pressure washer. So let's go do that. So somehow made it to the pressure washing place and uh, it's pretty easy at these things. Pretty much the 600 yen one here. It's going to give us uh, like a rinse soap. You got a bit of time to scrub it in if you got a sponge and stuff. We don't so we can skip that and go straight to the rinse again. So I'm going to do two of those, try and get as much muck off this as we can make it look a little bit better than it is and uh hopefully we'll get a better idea of the condition of like the paint and stuff and like i said this whole car like i'm expecting to paint the whole thing and do everything all over again but it's just going to be nicer to see this thing a little bit cleaner than it is now so let's set up the time lapse and get started So I just finished giving this thing a pretty big pressure wash. This is by no means a good like way to wash your car. Obviously the paint and everything's ruined on this thing. We just went over it with a rag and tried to clean up as much as we can. There's a lot of staining and pitting and stuff in it. But yeah, this thing has come up like an entirely different car now. It looks so much better. And it actually just makes me even more excited because now I kind of get a glimpse of what this thing's gonna look like. Very, very cool. Oh man, let me know in the comment section if you guys are pumped. This is sick. All right, now let's drive this thing back because it's about to storm really bad. This thing's cool. Just got this thing back to the storage yard and I'm not gonna lie, I may have hit a tiny bit of boost on the way here, no more than 5,000 RPM though, but this thing feels insane for what it is. I can't get over how well this thing runs and idles. It's, it's kind of crazy. And I don't know if you can see this, there's a rainbow there because it's raining right now and stuff but i don't know i just think it's a sign such an epic day 
dream car acquired. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. We're gonna fix it, we're gonna save it. This thing literally would have just been recycled and gone to the scrapyard. So John actually saved this thing. Um, it was sitting in someone's backyard, the university student I was telling you about who used to rally it. He stopped rallying and literally just stored it in his backyard. Grass was growing all around it and stuff and it was left in this condition. This is how John bought it two years ago and then he kind of moved it up there. So like all the damage and stuff like that that you see on it now is how he bought it in. So he didn't actually like, it didn't like get really any worse. I mean, it may have gotten a little bit worse rust wise and stuff like that sitting for two years uh, up in the storage yard, but realistically it came pretty much like this when he got it. So I still can't get over how just the pressure washers made this thing look good. We definitely gonna completely replace this rear quarter. That's in the works as well, starting to talk to some people. But there's a lot of work that has to be done to this thing. This is not something that I'm gonna pump out in a month's time. This is something that's gonna take a few years. So this is gonna be my long-term project on the channel. I hope you guys are excited. I really hope you guys are as excited as I am. And I know I keep saying that, but this means so much to me. I cannot believe I have this chassis and this car. Don't get me wrong. It's a bucket, it's a piece of crap right now. I mean, it's not really a piece of crap. It's got a whole bunch of good drive line and stuff like that in there, but it needs a lot of work and I'm down to save it. And I hope you guys are gonna come along the journey with me. So with that guys, I'm gonna leave it here. I hope you're excited for Evo content. Whew. Still can't believe this thing's mine. What have I done? Oh boy, I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry, waifu. Smash that like button, write us a comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video where I make another mistake. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Ciao, Mata.